YouTube. It's a place that many of us are very familiar with. When it was created in 2005, no one knew that this would quickly become the largest video sharing platform in the world. Equipped with a powerful algorithm and a search engine second only to that of its parent company, Google. And yet, it still surprises people to learn that such a company could become a career for many creators on the platform. Well, maybe I should rephrase that. For kids who grew up watching their favorite creators on YouTube, making videos on the site has been planted into the brains of many young people as not only a viable career option, but a lucrative one. Hello there, audience. Suddenly, when you ask kids what they want to be when they grow up, they're visualizing a future of playing video games for an audience or making silly skits. This is me at 13 years old. For a kid whose favorite pastime is making videos with his friends, the idea of sitting at a desk every day no longer seems like a good way to spend adulthood. But most would argue that this is nothing more than a pipe dream not something worth spending your time trying to achieve. As somebody who grew up with YouTube, I think that this divide is a result of the lack of understanding of this new and highly diversified career path, if you can even call it that. How do you even become a full-time YouTuber? How do you know when you have enough subscribers to quit your job? How do you know when you've made it on YouTube? Today is the day! We're going storm chasing. Oh, it's a storm <laughs> Let's go! Honk and I'll give him a hundred dollars. Let's go do stuff. This is Mark and Matt Payton, two brothers in Conway, Arkansas, who make YouTube videos full time. With over 275,000 subscribers, it's safe to say that Mark and Matt have made it big on the platform. I spent a week following the two throughout their process of making content in hopes to shed some light on what it really looks like to be living out the dream of so many kids today. Hi, right, my name is Mark Payton. I am 27 years old and I'm a YouTuber. My name is Matt Payton. I am 21 years old and I'm a college student. I'm a senior, but I'm also a YouTuber. Four years ago, I'd say in 2017, we started the channel and we started making like vlogs, funny vlogs. Like we wanted to make inspirational, <laughs> funny, fun and vlogs, kind of like how Logan Paul used to make his. We just hit 172 subscribers. The thing is growing, guys. We did it for a month, got a thousand subscribers. When I started it, um, I actually started it my ex-girlfriend. Oh yeah. She did not like it. Told me that, you know, I really, uh, it embarrassed her family. So it was either basically her or YouTube. We quit. During that time too, not just my, my ex-girlfriend, but my family, you know, they just saw it as a joke. This is a hand spinner, guys. Check it out. We're going to open this baby up. Come on, Steve. No one really saw it as a way to make a living. Three years later, we started back. We, we freaking, freaking missed you guys. Started making funny vlogs for another month. And then our friend, who is a storm chaser, he was like, hey, bro, you want to come on a storm chase with me? He put us inside of a tornado. That video blew up. It's now at, I think, almost 17 million views. So absolutely insane. Um, we gained a ton of subscribers from that. You know, I would say 100,000 subscribers in a year. This right here is uh, our 100,000 plaque. We got this within a year. This is, uh, this is a lot to work Prize for. Prize possession. Prize possession, yeah. We're super thankful for it. We'll take you over here to our editing station. Follow, follow us. Follow us. Over here, this is where we edit the videos. This is where the magic happens. Usually right here in this chair, this right here is where the time and tears, and blood and sweat is put in. Yes. For all the editing. Yes, yes, <laughs> so yes. this corner, this is the corner. We had an editor, but like, it's our videos. We want them edited the way that we want, so we edit them. And um, sometimes it's like six plus hours to edit one video. A lot of people don't think uh, you also have to plan out the video, which takes sometimes way more than six hours. Sometimes we sit in the coffee shop for two or three days for 10 hours. It's a lot of stress. Is this a project y'all are working on now? Absolutely. Yeah. That is a abandoned million dollar mansion. Yep. We're exploring so, that. Yeah. When are y'all doing that? We're doing that overnight tomorrow, tomorrow night. So okay. that's gonna be dope. How much how much preparation have you put into this? A ton. Like hours and hours and hours and hours. Like do you have a number? Matt, how long do you think? Like ten hours? Eight to ten hours. Yeah, ten hours. Not not too terrible. Just script writing and stuff. Yeah, like this one we've never done a video like this before. Plus so, plus studying other 
videos similar to this one. I didn't oh. want my presence documenting them to affect the flow of their video, but then they came up with an idea that made it work. I'm a, actually a ghost hunter, and I would recommend <laughs> against doing that. You don't try to talk to the dead. I guess let's hold on to it. What's the ratio of your stuff as far as what's scripted versus what's, like, in the moment? Most of it's not scripted. Okay. Yeah, but we're, we're trying to start scripting more just so it's better quality. Oh yeah, we definitely want it to be uh, more authentic than not. So, improv. There's a lot of improv, honestly. Right. I'm gonna go put goo on the big teddy bear. Uh, no, I thought we were doing that. That's what we planned. Uh, I thought we were gonna do it later. No, we were gonna do it on that one and then do it to the other one later. Okay. <laughs> teddy bear, no <laughs> eye. Weird. Is his mouth sewed? Bro, what is on him? Oh. Should I touch him? Why would you touch that? It's a rough outline that we made for this video just so we know roughly what we're doing. We will be going in here later. He's going to oh, lead us there. Really? Yeah, that's where we're gonna find a mysterious box. What is the box, bro? What are you talking? Bro, what? It has a question mark on it. We're, okay, we're on the we only got nine we only scenes. Have, we only have five, six. Oh, we do have nine. Yeah, okay. nine. So search building, right building. Okay, we need to find a place to sleep. Uh, oh, we'll this is this where building. we... This so is we where we, we could sleep right here. Let's set up our beds. Okay. Get my pillow and my blanket. This is gonna be so crazy. <laughs> That's our spot. This is gonna be fun, boys. Stop. Bro, whoa, whoa. Oh. What the bro? Bro, bro, bro. Where did he go? Where did he go? What? Nope. 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 We need to get out of here. No. All right. All right. How do y'all think that went? All um, right. It, it went good. We're like, hard on ourselves, yeah, we're bro. Very hard on ourselves. So no matter how like, much we plan and like how hard we work on it, we always expect us to do better. Yeah, you know? sure. So. But I think the story is gonna flow well. Uh, yeah. We're worried a little bit about the acting. We yeah. think that it may be too faked. How many views do you think this is gonna get? I think it's gonna get a million. Two million. <laughs> right now we currently have two channels: Mark and Matt, and then Mark Payton Vlogs. So the storm chasing channel and then Mark and Matt, which is our, you know, fun vlogs, the ones that we're going to go out and do really cool stuff. That is where we're wanting to run with. That's what we want to eventually, you know, be the money maker, be like what we do on YouTube. We would post our fun vlogs that we like to make what we started out making and they would get a couple thousand. But we would post a storm chase that we would go on with Chad and it would get hundreds of thousands. Oh, Yo! What's up, Chad? What's up, what's up? Bro. I'm gonna need you to put this on right now. Wow. That is your shirt. You're wearing it's, it today it's on the white. chase. It's white. Take us to the name. About to shoot this intro? Yeah! Intro time, baby! So no gang, and then I'll say On, on three. Another part. No, you said it. Oh. Okay. Actually, why wouldn't we both say it? Exactly. Alright, you ready? One. Yo, what's up, NATO gang? We are in the path of the tornado, aren't we, Mark? Yes, we are, baby. Look who we got with us. Storm Chaser Chad and John. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't either, bro. We are in the path of the tornado today, aren't we, Mark? Yes, we are. Let's go. Brooke, do we have... Wait, 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 wait. Brooke, who we got with us? It's Storm Chaser Chad. With the... How long have you been Storm Chasing? Ooh. Collectively... Easily 15 years. Oh, really? Like, you can't get any closer than that. Where are we? Right there in that circle. Oh, that circle, shoot. and that's hail. Wow. Wow, so it's about to hit us. Oh, yeah. Storm. Chad has been trying to chase it, and uh, we no, kind of... No, 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 no. Oh, all right, what do I need to say? Just say the storm that we were on dissipated, so Chad is changing his game plan, and we're going to a storm that is confirmed to have a tornado on the ground and he has literally put us directly in its path all we have to do is wait until it comes to us something like that i love when they start talking like they're storm chasers but they don't know exactly what they're talking about the very first time he was looking at a supercell i was like oh look at the cloud like everybody know that was a mothership all right chad do we need to get in yeah, go ahead and hop on in. Because right. we'll be leaving here in just a sec. Oh, there's, there's Reed. There's Reed. That's Reed Tim. There's Reed Tim right there. Chad, is that not the tornado?
All right, Mama, I love you. In case, like, I don't even talk to you again. I'm so sorry for everything I've done. I love you. Don't say that kind of stuff. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. Bye, I love you, Mama. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Love you, Daddy. Bye. Alright, bye. Our parents, good people. <laughs> sirens never lit. Tornado sirens. Guys. Okay, guys, wow. the tornado sirens are on. We are back in the action, my guy. Dude, what the heck? This is so crazy. Oh, oh my God. Right, right here. here. Right here. There's wow. a tornado right here. I grabbed the freaking pole. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh, dude, it's literally right here in front wow. of us. Lightning, please. Oh you my see gosh! It. You see it. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh, oh come my. on, light it up oh. a little bit better. Oh, oh there that is. was it! Whoa! That's it? We are not doing storm chasing long term. Absolutely not. No. Mark, Mark and Matt for baby. life, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, it's dangerous. Oh, I'll get out of here. No, no, like seriously, <laughs> it's it's not like the safest thing in the world. Do you think that you're more stressed or less stressed than like the typical nine to five worker? For me, I would say honestly, um, more stressed. Normal job, you spend eight, nine hours a day at your work. YouTube, it's literally 24 seven. Every second of the day, you're thinking of content. And financially, at a job, you trade your time for money, right? But for YouTube, you have to put in the work in order to get the views. Like if you want to make money, you have to put in the work. My job is YouTube, so I have to make it work in order to pay the bills. Yeah, it was pretty crazy to see everyone and looking back, to see everybody that saw it as a joke and it was just like a fun hobby, you know? To now, where they see how we're doing where we're at, they're like, dang, you, you, you have done that from YouTube and you have that from YouTube. Like, that's crazy. Would have never thought, you know? Well, I think they are logical in wanting us to go to college in their own minds, but I don't think they understand yeah. the world we live in today and how, uh, how much potential lies in a career within social media. Yeah, their generation is college, 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 college. This generation is new, so they don't see that. I believe absolutely anybody could do YouTube. It doesn't matter who you are. There is a niche out there for everybody. You pick a niche, there are millions of people that will watch you. I completely agree with them. I believe that anyone can do YouTube. You just have to have the right amount of dedication and uh, you know, perseverance and motivation and you have to find your why too and that's why and that goes for anything not just youtube but you find your why like why you want to do it you know and if you find that you can the sky's the limit with youtube this documentary was really personal to me because growing up i wanted to be a youtuber a lot of my first endeavors in filmmaking or script writing or video editing were a result of me trying to just make a good YouTube video. He taught me how to go the fastest whenever you're running and I, I still use his techniques to this day. I always thought that being a YouTuber was something that was very luck based, not something that you could actually grow up and do for a living if you really wanted to. But after spending time with Matt and Mark, I think that I'm starting to change my opinion on things. Thank you.